Welcome to the Crimson Engine. My name is Rubidium. As you know, I just got back from NAB 2019. Uh, the big news from the ARI booth, apart from the very popular Alexa Mini LF, was the development of a new battery standard, the B-mount. It's going to be able to power their new large format cameras, but also bigger lights, more accessories, bigger monitors, higher resolution monitors, and basically open the way for a whole new generation of film accessories that do more and last longer than the ones we have. I spoke to Mark Shipman Mueller from Ari about the batteries. When we developed the Alexa LF, the LF needed a lot more power than usual cameras. And that, because of that, we started looking into battery interfaces. And a lot of the battery interfaces we have right now are either mechanically not as stable as we would like them, or they cannot transport the extra power. So we thought there must be a better, better interface between the battery and the camera. And that's when we got together with Bebop, and we worked together with Bebop to develop this new battery interface that now allows for 24 volt batteries, it allows for all the power to go through there, and it's mechanically very, very stable. Uh, we actually have a long history of working with Bebop. We're selling some of the Bebop power splitting boxes and battery adapters with our Alexa Mini. That's a very popular product. It's a company that's very close to us, and I think Bebop has the same quality requirements that we have, so it's a perfect match between Bebop and Aerie. A lot of the things we're doing right now is long-term. So we, for instance, have introduced a new lens mount, and that's a really long-term project. You know, it's not something where we're going to get more earnings this quarter. That'll take years and years to be established in the market. And similarly, we're looking at the uh, battery mount. We're trying to establish a new standard for this battery mount, and in order to do that, we need to get all the battery manufacturers on board. And I think we have most of the battery manufacturers now making batteries for this new mount. So hopefully it'll become a new 24 volt standard for all future cameras. And we're planning on using it for our current cameras, but also we'll be building it into all our future um, cameras. Right now, people are going to be using both. They're going to be using the existing battery mounts and they're going to be using the B mount. But as we go into the future, I think the B-mount will become the one standard that everybody will be using. So it'll be a time of transition until we get to the B-mount being the only mount out there. The B-mount are a similar form factor to the traditional V-mount or gold mount batteries, but they're higher voltage, they're 24 instead of 12. They're higher amperage to handle the increased power, and they have a different connector to handle the heat and weight of the new voltage. They come in 90 watt hour, 155 watt hour, or 290 watt hour, but they're actually not that much heavier than the traditional V-mount batteries that we're used to. The 290 watt hour B-mount is actually only 1.2 kilos or under three pounds. I also got to speak with Pierre from Bebob about how the batteries came about and the experience of working with Ari. We were looking into making a 24 volt system. Uh, we spoke with some customer already two years ago at NAB and uh, engaged a discussion with Ari. Uh, they were thinking the same way. So we thought, okay, let's go for it. Uh, making only a 24 volt system was then only half of the game because people still have equipment working with 12 monitors, audio mixers, a lot of equipment, lighting, small LED lights, and a 24 volt equipment. So we went for B voltage. Uh, system, the B-mount came out of it. Uh, we were thinking a time long to make a V-mount 24 or Gold mount 24, uh, but then it's a special mount anyway. So if we do it special, do everything new, you don't need to make any compromise on the mechanical. We tried to learn everything we had of our, out of the history of Bebop. We are involved with batteries 25 years and to do it better than the standards we have in the industry right now. So we wanted to match these three points, high power, multi-voltage and very strong wedge mechanical connection between battery and camera. One of the other guests at the Bebop booth was Danny Briere from TSF. It's a large Paris rental house. They have a huge inventory of Bebop batteries and RE cameras. And I spoke to him about the challenge of someone who owns hundreds of traditional V-mount batteries upgrading to a whole new standard and everything that comes with that. My name is Danny Bruyère. Uh, I'm the uh, deputy managing director of a company in Paris called TSF. We're large rental operations. We do cameras, but we also do lighting, grip, and a lot of other uh, services to the production community. One of the things that we, that we saw coming, which has been an issue for us, is especially in our lighting department, uh, because with the 
the arrival of all the LEDs, um, we have our power requirements, although with the, we've been using the, the, the red BBOBs for, uh, since they came out, um, and they've been very, they've been very, we've had very high performance out of them with our cameras, but now we're going to uh, systems, uh, LEDs that are pulling 100, 150, 200, 400 watts, um, a lot of people going to 24 volts, uh, just to, to hand, so that the connectors, the small light connectors can handle the amperage. Um, so when, um, when Bebop told us that they were developing a 24 volt battery, uh, we said, well, that's great, but how are we going to do this in our, through our V-Lock connectors? Because the V-Lock connectors can't hold that much charge. And then they showed us, and we've started using the new um, uh, B-mount, uh, and, and it's, it, solves, it solves the issues. Uh, and we can adapt all our existing kit uh, to B-mount uh, simply by changing our V-Lock plates to B-mount plates. Um, so that transition is easy, and now we have 24-volt batteries that will also run on a 12-volt system. Uh, the, 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 the plate recognizes the battery, um, so you're not, you're not risking putting a 24-volt battery on a system that can only hold uh, 12 or 14 or 16 volts capped off. So, <clears throat> so for us, it's, uh, it's an evolution which is, I mean, not that we we dream about changing battery systems and, and battery mounts on a, uh, because we have so much investment in batteries. But the B-mount is really offering now a solution that works as much for our Alexa LFs as it will work for, um, as it will work for our uh, LED lighting, whether it be uh, with uh, the 24 volt system on the um, on the sky panels or doubling up uh, the batteries to get 48 volts to run our sky panels full power uh, on our Aladdin lights, on our uh, SL1s, on our mixes and so on. So it, it really becomes one battery will now do pretty much everything we need it to do um, with the high reliability and the high power output that we require. B-mount was developed by Bebob, but they are actually open source technology. So other camera manufacturers are going to install them in their cameras and other battery manufacturers are gonna make B-mount batteries, which is really essential to making this an open standard, um, a widely used standard. No one wants to have the scenario where there's a proprietary battery and you have to buy them just for a camera and you need a different type of battery for your lights, a different type of battery for your monitors. I think it's awesome that Bebop and Ari have opened this to other manufacturers and we're gonna see you know, lots of different companies make these batteries and hopefully lots of different accessories support them. That's our look at the new B-mount battery standard. Uh, thank you to Bebop for arranging the interview and for answering all my nerdy battery questions. Please leave your questions in the comments and I'll see you next time.